Hey guys, how you doing? This is Cobra. I hope you're all well. Now you may recall in our last episode, we got raided. And we not only got raided, we got completely wiped out. We managed to obtain a load of top tier guns. Uh, we were sitting on somewhere in a region of about 50 to 60 grenades after several base raids. But you see, I got a little comfortable. I got a little comfortable with my setup and the progress we'd made. And, as with everything in life, if you allow yourself to become too comfortable, you become susceptible to losing it all. Now, some of you may say, damn man, that would have killed me off. I would have been done after that raid, after losing all that gear. Some of you may have said, do you know what? You've shown us clear evidence that there are cheaters on this game. But I've got one question for you. No matter how demoralized you may be, do you really think I would let a cheater drive me from a game that I love playing? Man, this is Daisy. Shit happens. And we're coming back. But this time, we're coming back with a vengeance. So the first mission has got to be to rebuild base. But this time, we're going to fortify that base so much that it's going to take a significant amount of resources for any potential raider to even come close to getting through the first fortifications. So we've got work to do. Then we're going to have two options. Option number one. Do we try and find the people responsible? Do we hunt them down? And then do we go seek our ultimate revenge? Or option number two, once the rebuild is complete, do we just start again and this time be ready for whatever attack comes our way. So let's just think about this for a minute. Now, you may recall, I said a couple of things on that last video about what went down. Obviously, they managed to break into the base through five four code locks within 23 minutes. So there are a couple of scenarios here. Either they've spent a whole chunk of time, I would say significant time, hours and hours, breaking those codes and then decided to hit just at the time when I logged in. Because remember, they were outside the base when I first logged in. I got one shot in immediately from outside the base through several walls and that metal shed or did they cheat like I am 99.9% .9 sure they must have done they definitely did it just didn't add up but the one thing I did do was I managed to screenshot the names of the people that were on the server immediately after I respawned now, that would have been all of 20 seconds at tops. Now, the interesting thing is, in the hours that I have played since that attack, none of those names have cropped up again on this server. So that means that these people clearly are not from this server. And this is one of the things you're all gonna have to deal with because a lot of people server hop simply just a base rate. And with the amount of servers on Shinaris and Livonia, which is quite significant. You could be spending many, many days, weeks, trying to locate these people. And even if you do manage to find them on another server, their name's on another server, who's to say that the server they're currently on is actually their home server? So that is quite an impossible task. Unless you catch them in the act and you're engaging there and then, 
That is quite impossible. So that leaves us with option two. And guess what? We're back. So we are gonna now hunt everything possible. We're gonna base raid. We're gonna get back to the position we was at. Well, that's the aim anyway. And once we're done, we are going to set traps everywhere around our base. We're going to wait for whatever comes next. And then you know what? This time we're going to be ready. And we'll see who wins the day. Now you may ask yourselves why we are sat in base, looking a little bit dishevelled, trying to replenish our health, get warm again, in a green paramedics uniform. Well, let me tell you, it's been a hectic adventure we have just come back from. This is full of twists and turns, successes, some, and some disappointments. So let me take you back seven days. So we start our journey back at base, picking up from where we left off. Had several layers of fortifications. From here, we decide to surround the base with watchtowers. So we fortified base. Now if we look around here, we've got a multiple set of door systems, watchtower systems, all the way around, various other door systems attached. I've got now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, four codes alone just around that side. And we haven't finished building yet. So I am quite happy with the current build. We're going to extend a little bit further and we're going to end up with somewhere between 15 to 20 four dull code locks on here. So with base fortifications up to spec, it's now time for us to begin our next mission, our search and locate as much gear as we possibly can. And we start our travels over in Chinaris. So there's a little bit of lag around here. I've got some water we need to fill up. Oh, hold on. Crates. Oh yes please. We do need some nades. In fact we could do with that as well. Interesting. Well, this has got us off to a decent start. Let's take some more of this type of stuff. Did I have... Do you know what? Why not? 22, we take the nails. Pristine, worn. Worn. Okay, we'll swap that over. That should be pristine. Okay, good. Um, don't need that stuff. I'll take a couple of them. Holy shit. So we found the base here. Jesus, look at the size of that. Look at that. There's a car outside. It is neat as anything. Let's see, we'll probably get killed here. Let's have a little look. 
Is this still active? Looks like there's a gate up here open. So it's got multiple layers. There's nothing in the vehicle. Okay. There's someone just building this. It's clearly been here. Or abandoned. I mean this this will take three gates to secure right now. So this is a ready-made base. Four gates. Jeez. Massive area. Okay, you'll need to repair that wall. Tents. Jesus. Storage for days. Damn. Tents everywhere still. These barrels would have probably been full of gear. Okay, let's have a little look at this. Damn. Ah, oh, there's an open tent. Okay, okay. So we may, we may have something here. Backpack. Okay, well, we can straight away um, use that. This is bigger than what we've got. For the time being, let's put that in there for them. I think someone's actually using this. What they've done is they've come across this like we have. Oh, look at that. So there is some material here. Now, what we really need, let's see just what's in here, because what we really need right now, we've got a good overview, okay. So you can get into that side. Barbed wire is something that we do need. something here as well there's a tent or something there as well okay so we need to work out a way of how to get into here I think there is probably a very easy other than me building a watchtower see what they've done see what they've done this is a nice build it would have taken a long long time to get this to this type of size Okay, so let's go round on the outskirts of this, because I think we'll probably be able to just drop in. Okay, there you go. So we can drop into there. But there's a four dial code on that. But we can... Have they just secured... Ah, oh, that's open. Okay. Jesus. Well, they like their potatoes. Well, I'll tell you what. We can get rid of some of that shite. And that shite and that shite. And we can now top up with stuff that we do need. We'll take a few of these for the base. What's in here? Oh, hello. I'll take a few of them. We need to get into that tent, don't we? That's what we... I do. Let's just have a little look up. Is there anything hiding up here? No, there isn't. Loads of four dial codes here. 
and we can get out, so that's fine. Nothing. Nothing, nothing. Wood. Okay, so what I'm thinking here is Oh there you go. Okay, so you're in anyway. And there's nothing in the tent. So if anyone came through this way here now, five or six gates on here, and you've secured this entire base. Now where's the barbed wire? There's actually another little base behind this. The wharf, this little thing, so I didn't see that. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is lagging like shit. Okay, so this is interesting, this is interesting, so this is what we're going to do. This could be the start we're after. Oh sh damn, look at that barbed wire, I didn't see all that, we take all that. The only thing we're short on is these logs, which is going to take a little bit of a journey to walk them round. We're going to dump all of this down. We'll be taking that. My feeling here is that someone's going to log in. <laughs> right at the most opportune time, isn't it? That's what's going to happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to relocate a little bit. I'm not going to take another fence down there. We are going to go down this side and break one of the fences down the other side, nearer to that base. This guy will load straight in right at the time. Of me doing this. Okay, base, base, uh, nails, hatchet, we need floor, then stairs. Let's see what we've actually got here then. Saying that, there is night vision here. Okay, so they haven't been here for a little while. Well, you know as well as I do that we're going to be taking the night vision. What's in here? Pretty much nothing. And nothing. Okay. Well, we did get a set of night vision. Okay, so what we're now going to do is, we're going to go back here and we're going to fill this up with more barbed wire as a ship of it, because we need barbed wire. Okay, so we're good for barbed wire. We've been through both of those bases now. We've taken what we need. We've gained one set of night vision goggles. And we are now going to move on and see what else. Uh, hold on, there's some more nails down there that may come in handy for us. Yes, they're only 18, but we'll take them to add to that little collection. Okay, so we've just come across this little base here. It looks like this is open. 
we're going to stash this. We're going to have a little look quickly. Looks like this is just being built. Oh, hello, grenade. Take your boots, thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Jeez. Okay. interesting definitely something for us to keep a little eye on So we've managed to get back to base with that horde of barbed wire from that big base we found up in Shinaris. And we've added that to our defences, which has made this place like a little fortress now. So we decide to move from here and scout around our home server in Livonia and just see what's nearby. a tent here and there's a tent there as well let's have a little a little look at this I'm not going to draw my gun just yet let's see if we can get a nice little view of this okay so that's open and there are crates I think on the floor so the canopy tent as well Let's have a little look at this. Ah, oh, I need food. Thank you very much. That has just sustained my entire journey now. Yeah? We'll take that as well. Is there anything worth having in here? Well, we need a visor, so that can go on. That's worn as well, so don't worry about that. So there's clearly a hunter, and what do we have here? More food. Oh, look at that. We'll take the nails. Okay. Okay, so right now, we'll be taking that, that, and that. Double checking there's nothing in there. Uh, what else? Okay, for the time being we'll take that. Is there anything else? Any dig sites? No, it doesn't look like he's using dig sites, this chap. Because he's left the crates just out on the ground. So that water food there has enabled us now to not have to hunt. Oh, there's more crates. Ok, 
Okay. So he hasn't really got anything decent there. Has he got crates anywhere else then? As there's crates here. Doesn't look like there is. We'll just double check this little area here. And what we will do now is we shall make a little bit of room here. So I'll just quickly get through some of this stuff here. Poor guy's going to come back and not have any food. He must have spent ages cooking that. But remember, I like to only take what we actually need. And I don't popcorn anything other. Because what's the point? We've been through this several times on my videos. Why do that? There's just absolutely no need for it. Okay, so we need to be a tad careful. Let's bring the, bring the big boy out here. So there is a watchtower this side. Looks like though. Oh no. Oh no, hold on. So this is in play. Or is it? No, it's not. Okay, so around the other side it looks like it's been broken into already. Possibly. Yeah, that someone's got through here. We'll quickly check it out. So we can get rid of that. That's always good. There you go. We're looking good. So that's been hit. So we've just come back from our scouting mission in Livonia, our home server, and we did find a couple of bases or a couple of new setups. And there was one that may well end up becoming a threat that's not too far from our current location. So that's one that we may think about having a little look at a bit later. But for now, we're on day two and we've gone back over to Chinaris to continue this adventure. Okay, so there's Hobo over there. We will quickly check the server as we've just landed. Let's see how many are actually on. This was a medium to high a second ago. Let's just have a little look. What have we got here? Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh sh! Oh shit! I know that name. Wait a minute, KKK. I know that name. That motherfucker. Let me check something a second here. They're the names that hit my base. Shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Could this be the biggest coincidence I have ever fucking seen on this game? Okay, so this is this is interesting. I've literally just logged in to this server. Let me just check this server number, hold on. It's a medium to high pop. Let's just check this server number man. APSY1023. I've literally just logged into this server, it was the highest pop. Uh, on the Chinara servers, and I've not been on this server before. I've, as you've seen, I've just checked the name list as to who's on, and it's about a medium pop server, but three of the names, three of the names on this server, one of them being KKK, they were on the server, on my server, when I got raided, and I've never seen those names before. And at the time I was raided, I got killed, 
there was only seven people on Lion. Three of which are the same names I've just seen on this server. What are the chances of that? What are the chances of that? So, as I've already said, funny enough, hunting players down is one of the hardest things to do on official servers as you never know what server they've come from. So with that in mind, I'm going to comb this server all the time those names are on. I'm going to comb this shit. And if this is their server, and if, if, they do live on here, then all of that gear they've taken, and plus no doubt countless more, is going to be here on this server. Somewhere. And the next job for me then is to find it. Let's go. This has spiked my interest now. Sounds like whoever this is is base raiding. Oh no, I'm dead. No. No, I'm dead. Shit. So would you believe it if I told you this story? Let's revisit this. So, we get hit by a group who are clearly, in my view, cheaters. They glitch through our base and there are three names after I respawn, immediately after I respawn, that appear on my home server. I haven't seen those names at all since this time. We hit multiple servers over the next short while and all of a sudden we hit a Cherno server with the same three names on. Not only that, but somebody is base raiding up in Hobo. Now just think about this for a second, what are the chances of that? Those three names are on that server. Number two a group is base raiding in Hobo. Number three, we get killed out of the blue one shot again. But if you notice, I don't die straight away. It takes a few seconds and you can just hear in the background a long shot, a shot at a long, long distance has clearly finished me off. Now, that sounds very familiar to what happened back at base. That would have been well over six, seven hundred meters away. That shot I've just died from. So to me, this is starting to look like I've actually found this group. Are this group just server hopping? Server, 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 to another server. Base raiding, base raiding, base raiding. And anyone that comes in a certain radius, they're able to one shot. This is a massive coincidence. But you know what? I think I found these guys. So we respawn back down on the coast. We grab some basic supplies. We have no weapons at this moment. And we head north to Hobo. By the time we get there, as you can see, it's pitch black. We can't locate our body, it's clearly despawned in that time frame. And the base raid is already completed. Nobody's in Hobo. So we head north again to see if we can pick up the trail. Well, hold on. There are two cars here. So they all. Ah, we'll put gloves on, so we need those. The damage work. Oh, there's quite a bit in here. Shit, we'll take that off. That can go on. Um, ideally, look at those. Uh, ideally, we're looking for uh, a bigger bag. 
And maybe some weapons of some description. There's crisps. Okay, we'll eat those then. So, for these these cars to be positioned here like this, or that, should we say, that would indicate they're either... Oh, superb. Superb. Hold on, hold on. That's what we'll do. That they're either up at the ski resort up there, or they've been down at that house, but that house was empty. So... I'm... There is another bag here. We might as well just eat all this while we can. Is that something up there? What's that? Oh! There's a flagpole here. Is there a base though? It's... We're going to have to be careful here. Because this looks rather dodgy. Okay, is so there some improvised uh, cannibals? What have we got here? So I'll do, put that on, hopefully, that will help us stay warm a little bit more. There's no real guns here. We've got a lot of shit here. But nothing that's. Hold on a minute. Oh no, that's fine. Okay. Okay. So we've got camo now. Okay. There's more here. There's loads of food. Nice to find a blaze or something decent in that. I know there's another improvised tent here. Night vision, okay. Now we're talking. This is interesting, so there's no defences whatsoever, but they've put a flag and a flagpole here. We've got a tent with a load of shite in it, really. Okay, well, we've some stuff in it. So there's nothing in those. Let's double check we're not missing anything here. What are we missing? Is there more shit? We have no weapons at all, other than the pickaxe, so we need to be a little bit careful. You see, I would say these boys. Okay, here we go. Now we're talking. Oh, tent. Another tent, okay. There's not a lot of lag here. Let's hope we hit something good. Nothing! Empty. Okay. There's a little... This may be why there's nothing in it. There's three nails. We'll leave the three nails. Because that's because somebody's trying to build there. Oh, okay, so I've just seen a car and a large tent, two cars and a large tent. Forty round mag. There's nothing in the vehicle. Got in here then. Okay, we do have a plate carrier. 
with pouches. We use that. We will take those. Oh, there's a little tent here. made life really easy that uh, oh what's this a blaze yeah that's what I'm talking about that's fucking exactly what I'm talking about I'll take those nails I'll take those and the wonderful cooking pot so we'll take those nails only in four rounds those nails and four, those, 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 those. Now, now, the cooking pot. That cooking pot goes there. So we have a truck turned over. Obviously, driven just off the edge which is a cardinal sin and do you know what that is better than what we got badly damaged though but fuck that now that truck was facing backwards so they may well be trying to get to a base that's back there. This isn't the best of grounds to drive a truck like that, anyway. So. Um, kind of thinking that we may be running into something pretty quickly. Place there. It looks like it's been hit. It has been hit. Someone's built one of my famous watchtowers to jump over it by the looks of it. Empty. Empty, empty, empty. Oh, there's meat. That's pretty handy. That truck has probably come from here. Oh, I'm dead. dead yet. So we do need to get the fuck out of here quickly. What's he got? Tundra. Okay, get rid of that. Boots any good? Yeah, they're worn. Mine are damaged. Take his head strap. 
Get the fuck out of here. What are the chances of that, eh? Spawns in just as I get into eating his shit. I have no idea how many team members there will be. So, we are best off just getting out of there for the time being. Considering our main mission here is not to mess with them boys. It will be to um, find this big group that are on this server. Place at the edge of the map on the road. Okay, so I haven't seen one of these for a while. This is interesting. Car here. Open. So this is being built. We have hit a tent. It's a white canopy tent in the middle of nowhere with hmm, not a lot in. But there is a bit of food. And there's more nails. And do you know what we're like for nails? Cut the mosins. Well, would you believe it? There is room for that. Well. Mm, great, and a barrel. That's hidden pretty nicely. A decent spot. Oh, there's a tent up there. Just saw out of the corner of my eye. So let's be a little bit careful, as I've already had this already. Is there anything in here? There is. Uh, nothing that we need there. So we shall leave that be. We even put the toggle back for this chip. Is there anything else around here though? Oh, there's a base here. I'm not sure if this has been hit. Hopefully it hasn't. The large tent. Actually, it looks like it has been hit. Could this be the base that they've moved from as it's been hit? stuff in here. Okay. Nails. We're always going to turn in nails. Might as well take those as well. Just be careful that there's no one in here. It's quite a neat little base this. Is there anything up here? No, there's not. Okay. 
that would have probably had some good stuff in it. And car wise, there will no doubt be vehicles nearby. Damn, I was hoping that that hadn't been hit because that would have had some nice gear in it right near Tizzy. Service medium right now. Ah, that's been broken into. Let's have a little look though. Is there anything left? Nails. Damaged nails. 99 of them though. So there we go. Mm. Shit, there's a load of lag around this area. Loads of it. I'm missing some dig sites or something. Oh, hold on, there's crates. this okay I one night vision shit okay 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 so there's a load of gear here. there's a load of crates here so what we do is go straight up to that bag so nades nades um, put the bag back down, get that gun there, that rat can go on the gun, that can go back, pick that bag up, we are taking the food because we're going to need that, we really need, we'll take a couple of those, and we'll take the M4 stuff, and we're taking nails, um, there's, oh shit there's loads of nails there, This unfortunately for them looks like somebody is about to try and build a base. Uh, is there a blood collection kit? No, there's not. How are we for tets? I think we're good on tets. Multi bits. We'll add those in there. Uh, we don't need any of that. Ah, there is a bucket collection kit. Good. The food we're definitely taking. As we need it. Okay, so there's quite a lot of gear there. A lot of bandages. Is there any more? I'm still getting lagged. Where I just had a player. Okay, so I've just seen. Difficult to see, but I've just seen something up here. It looks. Nah, it's been hit. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Nails there. I don't think we're gonna have a problem with someone's actually building here right now. I think I don't think we're gonna have a problem with nails right now. Someone's actually building this as we speak. I think. Yes, they are. Okay. So we've done alright there, we've got quite a few nails out of that. 
Okay, so we've just seen some some garden plots here. And I am lagging it. Okay, so there's there's tents, improvised shit, there's a lot of stuff here. There's a load of shit here. That one, so that's one. It's amazing. Some more food, we'll just take that for the time being. Barrel, loads of food. Orange armbands, okay, so this is the team. Has this been hit or not? That's the question, isn't it? And there's a big tent there as well. I don't know if this has been hit. It may have been. It looks like it might have. Is there any more? Loads of scopes. I haven't got any quality guns, but there is some gear here, okay. Is there anything else in there? Buy. Dig sites or anything? What was a dig site then? Okay, so there's a load of gear there, but not the kind of gear that we're looking for. Not the high-end, top-tier loot that we're interested in. I can't find any dig sites. It's obviously a whole team here, orange orange armband team here. What I could do is put one of those armbands on, confuse the shit out of them, and sit here and wait till they log in. Because they're probably not going to shoot immediately when they see an orange armband. But we're not going to do that. Oh look, so they've planted that. So this recent, they've been here recently, very recently. Oh, on a minute. There is a base here. But, and, hold on. So there is a base here. The car there. We're going to drop this M16 time. And we're going to see. Is this being built? These have just been dug recently. There is stuff in the car. There's crates in there. Oh, there's nails. Uh,
So this brings us back to now. We've had quite an adventure. We've hit base after base. We've combed several servers. And you know what? I do think we managed to locate that group that hit our base. I'm sure it was them. In fact, I'm 100% positive. It was definitely them. However, since that time, I have not been able to relocate any of them. Their names haven't appeared on any servers that I've been on. And we've been back to that original Genara server several times in the last two days. But yet, they seem to have vanished once again. So this isn't a tale of revenge. But what it is, is a tale of hope. Because these cheaters are not going to win. They may have won the battle, but they definitely haven't won the war. We're back at base now. We have a lot of gear. The only thing we haven't been able to reobtain is VSDs, but we have pretty much everything else. And we have a base that is fully, fully fortified. So what does the future hold? Well, one thing's for damn sure. We're going to be ready for whatever else comes our way. <laughs>